probably the most chill environment at a track day ever. It's just, you know, there's wheel to wheel, there's time attack, there's drifting, there's uh, festivals, and it's just a really nice, fun, all around environment to be in. I come to Gridlife for the seat time, the awesome festivals that they have here. It's just a great group of people and a good environment. I come to all the Grid Life events, mostly for the people. Honestly, this environment's better than anywhere else I've ever been. It's kind of cool having a unique car like this at an event where like you don't see a big sedan competing against like supercars and sports cars and stuff like that. Grid Life is fun. There's a lot of good people, a lot of awesome cars. Grid Life is just a fantastic place to just meet your friends, come hang out, have a great time. You don't have to have the fastest car. Uh, by far the lowest horsepower car here, and it's just a blast. You can find out what you can do as a driver, hone your skills, and just get better. I got the car originally to replace one that I had that crashed, and then just slowly over time, it turned into what it is. <laughs> it's a 1996 Nissan 240SX. I'm running a Toyota 1UZ motor with individual throttle bodies, unlimited class because of the motor mostly. This is a 2017 Mustang GT, picked it up from the dealership, drove it about 15 miles to a race shop, dropped it off, K safety equipment went in. We then decided to twin turbo it and do the wide body. Currently running about 1,000 horsepower. It's initially built for pike speed. We actually had to take the horsepower down considerably to meet the horsepower versus weight ratio that Gridlife GLTC Touring Cup demands. So we're putting out probably 248, 250 horsepower out of a car that could produce two and a half times that much. So it's really a unique experience and it really accentuates the absolute need, the total necessity for a tire that sticks. Club TR has kind of become like the K-Swap class, but it's any car that has a 2.5 liter or below engine. And so naturally I've gone with the K-Series because it seems to be the most amount of power for that amount of liters. It's my 88 CRX SI, just a header and a uh, intake manifold, and that's it. So just 102 horsepower, running uh, 245 Falcon RT660s up front, 205s in the rear, trying to get that rear end to come around. Tires are fantastic, hold heat great. It keeps things close, you know, you got so many options for tires out there. When you're running a spec tire that you know everyone else is on, it really keeps competition tight. This car is just a culmination of everything that I've learned over the past 20 years working on these cars shoved into one car. And it keeps getting faster and faster. I'm a big believer in modding cars to your skill level, and I just started out with Time Attack like five years ago and the car was totally stock, and I was making sure that I was adding mods to it as I was out driving the car. Future plans are more boost. We're in the Falcon Zenus RT660 tires, and they are one of the best 200 tower tires you can get. Running the Falcon 660s, they've been great for me all weekend. I just switched to the Falcon RT660s, and I love them. One thing the Falcons do just about better than everything I've driven on over the years, over Bridgestone, over Yokohama, over BFG, is that they wear so much better than everything else. The Falcons are sticky the entire time, no falling off, and they come in at a price point that beats basically everything out there right now. Tire cycles are really vital. We've tried BF Goodrich, we've tried Goodyear, we've tried a lot of different competitor brands, and some of them have a linear fall off and some don't. If you can find a tire, that has a linear fall off to it that's predictable, that's really what you're after, and I think we found it. They hold up pretty well and they don't fall off after a bunch of laps. Uh, my fastest lap here today was on my seventh lap, so they still have grip even after tons of laps, and it's, uh, it's the perfect just lapping tire.